A garden can be seen as a type of artwork. It involves imagination, aesthetics, and a purposeful arrangement of plants and other elements to create a visually appealing ambiance. Siguro it's become part of my morning ritual. Ang makatuwi ko di ano ito compulsion na gid ng akin nandan ari ko di. Ang makita ko talaga ng tanong ng mga tusmao ko sa pool. It's a very very nice way to start the day for me. The garden that exists now in Sitio Tabucol, Bago City, was once a rice field until the Sagimuller family decided to convert the area into a tree-filled space. And today, it is lovingly nurtured by the family's next generation through Josef Sagimuller. Gandala ko na di pila katraklod ng mga tanong malit sa garden namon. Kagin pang plaster ko, and then dili ko gito nakita ang potential nga do mas mayo di ang tubo ni labi ko sa the climate. Uh, namit di ang tubig kaya wala sang chlorine so decide ko nga dili dili na lang kaya masigi sang garden ko kaya very conducive gid siya sa growth sa mga tanom nga ginakultivate ko Joseph often refers to the garden itself as a slightly more organized wilderness the garden lacks any specific design and is rather a result of his spontaneous and ever-changing whims Nevertheless, he always takes into account the expected size of each plant and tries to anticipate its spatial requirements to ensure it has enough room to flourish. Well, see, I have a view that I like a lot. Good favorite, maybe one of my favorites is 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 not even really a super super valuable plant, but it's a heliconia. It's a certain variety from. New Caledonia, so Heliconia indica red hammer. Ang nami si nasi yes, it gets really big. It gets about ten to twelve feet and bright red. Kung may initan, the the whole entire plant is red. It's very beautiful. The memories of various botanical gardens Joseph has visited in faraway lands and the unique way they arrange different plants has greatly influenced not only his garden but also his personal style. I prefer to personally to grow plants that are um, that have long-term belanga value, such as palms and cycads, because uh, in a eti he na gina magtubo. So you really need to start from small. You need to nurture them until they're big, so they maintain their value. Nowadays, with the abundance of information available, it has become much easier to access the right gardening tips and knowledge. It is important to be patient in gardening. Joseph lost numerous plants in his rush to make them grow bigger, better, and faster than anything else. Over the years, he has added many more species to the garden. Unfortunately, some trees had to be removed due to Typhoon Odette's destruction. However, for every tree that was removed, they made sure to plant 10 more trees in return. For Yosef, the primary goal of this garden is personal enjoyment, but he has also expanded to selling his plants. Witnessing the plants grow large and vibrant, and seeing them bloom brings him immense joy. And being able to share that joy through the sale of the plants has become his focus. He vows to continue adding plants until he runs out of space, although he believes that there will always be room for more. Plants that belong to his mother or plants that his parents love are not for sale. They hold sentimental value. In fact, he has a plant named after his mother, Corazon, and another one named after his father. Plants have their own time. You cannot rush them. 